Guys, so last time, uh, we decided we were going to make... Who put that there? And that. <laughs> um, we decided we were going to do the uh, inputs and outputs of the RAM into um, the uh, memory. And, that, and that's great. <clears throat> the problem is, uh, right now, it basically just travels in circles. So if you, like... Um, if you turn this on, basically, uh, the one goes through and it adds one to everything, and then it just and it adds one here, and that becomes two, and it goes through, goes around and around and around and around, and everything turns on, and that's not what we want. We don't want that because that's not going to help anybody. Um, however, what we do want is uh, to be able to control it, so it has the same effect if we want it to. Um, but it doesn't have to have the same effect. Now, there's a, because of pistons, and I love pistons, trust me, ah, oh, they're so great, um, we have a new way of building an AND gate. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's much, much more compact. Um, in this, in this one, I'd have to build AND gates the normal way, which is like boom, 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 and then like that, and that, and that. And you'd have to have two inputs here, here, and an output here, and um, the inputs would have to be running in. They couldn't just be like glancing by. Like, let's say that wouldn't work because you can turn it on and the top one's still on. You need you need to have it directly in, like like that. See, um, so then that was a problem. But now with the advent of these things, you can make them much smaller. You see, it's only two by one. Well, it's not even by one because it's already on the redstone thing. And so it's basically just two. And that makes a big difference, trust me. Uh, so the way to do it is you take a, um, a sticky piston and you put it uh, in front or right next to the thing. And then you take a, a block, any kind of block that um, allows redstone, so not ice or anything like that, and run it. And then you take a repeater and put it right there. And see, so you can see the redstone goes into the block, the block is powered, but redstone doesn't take power directly out of block, so it needs a repeater, so you put a repeater there, and that moves it on. And then if you want to um, make it so it turns off, you just press that. I guess, I guess another way you could do it is, and I'm gonna actually do it this way because I just realized you can do it this way. Um, have it uh, one farther away, like that. Sorry, like this. And like that. And I guess this makes it so when you turn it on, it turns on instead of turning off when you turn it on, if that makes any sense. See, so now it turns on. And that is a, um, it's an AND gate, except it's much more compact and nicer and stuff. And I love it. And it makes me happy. Um, and the best thing about it is you don't have to reroute this input or something like that. You can just, I mean, all, all, all you're doing is adding one input, really. And that's it. And it makes it so much nicer. Trust, trust me on this one, guys. Um, okay, so that, that's what we're doing. And what we're trying to do here, if this makes any sense, is we're adding AND gates to every input. These are all inputs, the ones heading from the, um, the latches are inputs, and the ones heading to the latches are outputs. So this is an output right here because it's heading towards the latches, and this is an input because it's heading to, from the latches. So, um, and you can see input A, blah, blah, blah. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to be able to control the input-output cycle. So we can say <sighs> RAM block 1, output to RAM block 1, output to uh, muxer. I mean, excuse me, out block, output to this thing. And then, uh, and then ALU output to RAM block 2, 
which this is this is one two one two one two um, and you can just go around in circles like that and that way you can add that's really the only way I know how to uh, continually add without doing it manually so um, there's really not much to it I'm, I'm just gonna go in and add um, I'm gonna add AND gates at every output which is right there and then every input which is gonna be right here um, and it's a fairly simple process uh, it's it, it's simple it's kind of annoying it can be annoying but it's simple so um, I'm just gonna when I finally figure everything out I'll just go ahead and, and make it work and just stuff I mean I'll come back when it's all worked out and hopefully I can do something like this that'd be nice uh, so yeah I'll re I'll return in a little bit when I've um, done everything stuff um it still won't work I know you guys are excited to see something happen but it's not gonna work until it loads until um I add a zero and which zeroes out the the RAM because if if the RAM doesn't get zero basically uh, it's basically the same progression that I was talking about before how one goes in out two in out three four eight blah 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 um, and that just goes in circles but instead this time it's it's gonna be slower because I'm able to control the inputs and outputs uh, so but you can't add really because um, uh, because you can only you can only keep progressing up you can't add like small numbers really uh, you can only progress up in a linear fashion because you can't zero um, and zeroing will come next and I'll show you what that is but so basically all I've done in the past I don't know 40 50 minutes is gone through and added all sorts of AND gates at every place and that's what all these arches are for they're for getting the inputs of the AND gates which are over here um, to the AND gates because you need to coax them in there somehow and basically that's all this is about um, figuring out I mean putting an AND gate everywhere they need to be which is on every output and every input um, or yeah every output or and every input of the RAM except the last two bits because um, you're always gonna have these extra bits because the ALU can add together more than it can take in if that makes sense because if you're adding if you have a two-bit ALU let's say um, it can add up to uh, first of all it adds one and one which is two and then it can add two and two and two yeah um, it can add two and two and two and one because of the carry-in it you add that one in and that's seven and uh, obviously it's not going to accept a seven input so these are these are each four um, yeah they're just four so uh, and they you can't route them back in because there's no input for four but you can still use them because they'll still give you a number you just can't recycle that number if that makes any sense so um what you go through is you go through and you and you hook up everything and make it in AND gates and blah 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 and then you go through and you add repeaters and always keep them on their lowest setting and I, I can't stress this enough the computer is slow enough as it is just keep it on its lowest setting and you'll be happy um, or happier. And so uh, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not going to work like a computer because you can't start at zero anymore. It's already maxed out and it's going to stay maxed out until I add zeros. But I can show you what happens to the, uh, the AND gates when I fuck with them. Okay, so um, let's, if we do the R1 export, if we take that off, you can see 
that retracts and some of those things turn off and other ones retract uh like this or this. i don't know which one retracted well obviously there's some bugs but the general idea is that when you turn them off they retract and when you turn them back on they extend blah blah blah, blah. and that allows the uh, current to flow through and for you to control your alu and it does take some bug work to fix it because it's not perfect ever and you have to go through and add repeaters but I mean it's getting there you can see how it's kind of kind of getting kind of close and you can see <laughs> it takes up enough room so that it's getting kind of close to the actual thing um, but yeah that that's generally it um, next time I'm gonna add zeros and I'll do that and thank you for watching I'll see you next time